this video was actually supposed to be filmed last week but then last week I got this amazing idea of filming a vlog style video and what we did is we went to the US to have a burger so if you haven't watched that you should because there's some really funny bits I think you get to know a little more about what kind of a person I am but it is fun so if you haven't watched that I'm gonna place the link here so that you guys can actually go and do that but this video is actually a little bit of the remainder of my Sephora haul me wanting to do my brows because in this Sephora haul I got this brow product which I am just loving and it is accompanied with another brow product that is not from Sephora so I'm really loving that brow routine and I also wanted to give something that I tried in my first Sephora haul video uh, because something didn't work and I was kind of like unsure about it so I want to try it now in this video so hey welcome back to my channel my name is Vasha and today we're gonna go back into beauty back into skincare and let's get started now the first product that I'm going to try again for the second time just to get a better hang of it because honestly since that video I didn't use it again but it is the milk makeup scalp stick in that video something happened to this product which i didn't like at all what i'm going to do is warm this on my skin just a little bit because i want to pick it up from the back of my hand rather than just go and draw with it right there like very soft strokes and this side let's try blend that top part a little bit this is what happened when I tried this product in my previous video. It just broke, but I think it's doing great. Like, it's a nice shade for like a medium skin tone, so... Okay, I'm happy. Now, before we move on to the next product, I wanted to show you two skincare products that I got this year. There's one more, but I'll speak of it by the end of the video. But what I got is this Origins Mega Mushroom Relief. This is uh, a toner basically and it has the extract of the adaptogen mushrooms and I felt like by using this I felt like my transition like my skin's transition from winter to summer was like a pleasant one. This one not only hydrates but it actually reduces any redness it leaves the skin very balanced especially for like my skin on my cheeks sometimes I feel like I'm very sensitive so this actually comes very handy and you won't believe this actually somehow removes even trace amounts of makeup. It has a like like a fresh smell um it's not floral or anything this is one product that i got and the next one is something you guys have seen before if you've already been on my channel which is the paula's choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant so sometimes i use my retinol and on some nights i use this most nights i go for this and if you are a person who has like you know who wakes up with a little bit of dry skin not texture this Will really come handy and it is worth every penny. So the brow product I am currently obsessed with is this one. The Kosas Airbrow Tinted Volumizing Treatment Gel. When I wanted to buy this I was actually deciding between the benefits um, the lamination gel which just released a few months back or this one which actually released if I'm not wrong it released in 2021. I've been so happy with this purchase. Now the color that I picked up is medium chocolate brown. This is what medium chocolate brown looks like. It's like a, a warm brown. It has honestly changed my life. I love this packaging. I mean just check this out. It's pink, it's cute, it's transparent, it's cruelty free. I don't know if you can tell but it has like a triangular tip. It's a brow gel that has like a moussey texture. If you see my brow right now it has like a grayish tint to it. I like to make it a little warm. This is something I've been using every day to work because in a way it's really fast but I need to do some additional touches. You have to use one of the sides of this to like really fluff up your brow. Place it right there and just like start combing and just like fluff it up so you can fluff it up with that flat side. It really like distributes product evenly but it is also castor oil in this so it's just good for your like brow hair health. I just kind of like to bring the edge of my brow down again in shape. And now if you compare this brow to this, you can actually see that there is some warmth, some brown happening in that. You don't have to worry about actually too much going on because uh, you can control uh, and you can easily get rid of if you put some extra on it. Can you see like how feathery it made the brow? 
<laughs> but yeah, I just have to clean up that shape. So now, since I'm doing a makeup look, what I do like to do is just bring in a little more structure, thicken it in certain areas. So I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Actually, what I have new here is the NYX, it's the brow tint pen, which has an ultra fine tip. And compared to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, this is the winner. While I'm doing my brows, I'm going to talk about this. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it opens up this way and I guess inside this are those dots. Makeup artists rave about this and how it just reduces acne overnight for people. So I think, you know, that's what kind of made me purchase that. Funny thing is, ever since I bought that, I've not broken out. Like, I don't want to jinx it also. By the way, this, I mean, I've worn it for at least up to eight hours maximum and it stays and holds really well. But by the way, this is flexible, like it doesn't laminate your brow, it just fluffs it up and volumizes it up. Draw some hair-like strokes. You barely like need to touch, I would say hold the pen really at its end. I'm almost using you know, with the pencil that I drew, I'm almost using that as a guide and I'm like drawing some hair strokes in there. That leaves me very happy with how my brows look. Can you see how full and feathered it looks? And it's so volumized and I don't know, I love it. Um, I'm just like trying to touch my finger and see, but actually nothing is moving. The brow is staying as it should. So this thing is definitely a winner along with um, the NYX brow tint pen. I have no blush on so I'm just going to use a little bit of my Rare Beauty. So this I'm just like literally putting all over. The trend at the moment is to put blush across your nose and cheeks. Just so you know. It just makes it really nice like you've been on holiday. Great. All that blush is up. Skin is looking gorgeous. Coming to lip, I did actually this time purchase the Gwen Stefani a Matte Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade Flannel. But here's the thing, when I tried it in Sephora, I loved, I just loved how it looked on my skin. But actually when I came home, I mean when the order got delivered and I saw it in, in like natural light, I just didn't like it. This doesn't look the way it did in the Sephora lighting and I really wanted to buy um, something from Freck Beauty, you know, their, their blur lipstick, but hopefully I'll get it, maybe, let's see. But instead, what I got is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, and I got it in the shade Vanilla Beige. So this is vegan, cruelty-free. This is what it looks like. I love the packaging always. And what is really interesting is the tip that uh, it has. Can you see that little curve that it has? It really like hugs the lip when you apply it. So this is kind of what the color looks like. It's like a caramelly, peachy brown. Uh, before I actually go on and apply it, I wanted to use a little bit of lip pencil. This is Spice from MAC. Skin looks a little bit like an oil slick, so I'm just gonna actually do a little bit of powdering just to take that down a notch. It smells like, like a vanilla cupcake. It's not like an annoying vanilla smell. It's just like a very subtle one. Within a few minutes, it does disappear. And by the way, this is so silky like it's so silky balm not like a sticky balm a very silky balm so i'm just gonna apply that mm. the way it just hugs your lip i feel like this looks very orangey i'm gonna apply that balm again i'm just gonna take this one which is whirl but in the lipstick form just to tone down the lip color okay much much better right mm. Oh, this combination. There it is. Finished look for today. Smaller video today. But yeah, what I wanted to do was just give you an update on all those new products that I have. So if you made it till here, I highly, highly recommend that you watch my vlog. In my next video, I'm actually going to be foolproof testing a very new concealer that I bought. So stay tuned. With that being said, thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe. I'll see you all next week and take care. Bye-bye.